Hi guys, in this video, I wanted to show you a few things about completing the, uh, the labs in Bio 169. Uh, as you can see, I'm in the Chapter 16 Endocrine System Part 2 uh, folder from the Learning Modules menu. I'm going to scroll down to where the first uh, lab folder is located, Lab 1A, the Endocrine System. Um, this is uh, designated as eScience Lab number nine, but it's our first lab, so I'm using Lab 1. Um, as our designation there. So I'm going to click on this folder. Everything that you need instruction-wise will be located inside of the lab folders. And so uh, the first thing that you'll see is um, some instructions, my instructions on what to do for the lab. These are the main instructions that you'll need to follow each time that you're completing a lab. Um, of course, there's instructions that come with the lab manual, but this is uh, how you're going to be graded. So make sure that you follow the step-by-step -step instructions that I outline each week inside of the lab folder. Um, and so I've just given you a couple of things to kind of get started with. Uh, before you actually start, I would suggest clicking on the Getting Started link below, and uh, there is a safety video that's part of that, so I want to show you that. Uh, as we scroll down, you'll see the link here below, Getting Started. Anytime you click on these eScience links, it should open up into a new um, web browser menu that's shown here. And so uh, these are very easy to navigate through the through the uh, documents here. Uh, you've got two choices. You can either select one of the tabs in the main menu here and go through to find what you need. And so, of course, right here is a lab safety, or you can hit the next button, and that's just going to send you kind of down the list, and you can kind of read over the main things. Uh, just a couple of things I want to point out. The packing list, that's very critical. Make sure you know, as soon as you get your kit that you go through, it should have some kind of checklist like this. You need to go through your checklist, make sure you have the components that it lists here. Um, and if you have any questions about uh, an item, please send me an email. There may be a few things that we don't use uh, in, this, in the kit, uh, and that's okay, but, you know, you want to make sure that you have uh, those items that, that you're supposed to have. Um, and I'll provide a um, a website that you can go to. If you're missing something, you need to go to that website and I'll send that in an announcement. Uh, and then you just put in there uh, your uh, your name and your uh, what you're missing, and then they will um, prepare a package and, and kind of send out those missing items directly to you. And then uh, the other thing is uh, there is that lab uh, safety video. Uh, it's only a few minutes long. I would suggest kind of taking a look at this and that kind of gives you an orientation to lab safety uh, using that link. So uh, to get started with the actual lab, again, I'm going to go up to the directional, uh, to the little direction tabs here. Um, first lab that I assigned doesn't require the use of the kit, and that's uh, on purpose because I know that uh, it'll take a little while for everyone to receive the actual lab kit, but we still need to have some kind of lab to do to kind of get us started. Now, uh, so we're going to start on the endocrine system lab, um, and we're going to do a portion of it that doesn't require the kit. Now, whenever you do receive your kit, you'll realize that the endocrine system is going to talk about the directions for it. Uh, we'll talk about completing the pig dissection, but don't complete the pig dissection yet. Uh, we're going to do that as a separate lab activity later in the semester. And so, um, so even though it's telling you to complete it now, don't, you know, just follow my directions and uh, don't do the pig dissection or anything else uh, that's uh, not listed here. And so you want to make sure you just follow the directions that I have for you. Um, and so we're going to click on uh, the web link below Lab 9, and we'll kind of go through a little bit, kind of see what that looks like, and I'll show you how to complete that first lab assignment. The other thing is at the bottom, I've kind of listed out for you what's expected and how it's going to be graded. And so what I've done for this first lab is uh, giving you, you know, most of the labs are going to count 20 points, and I've divided this lab in half. So this is why this is called Lab 1A. And then next week we'll have lab 1B. And so uh, this first lab is only going to count 10 points. And so I've listed out the assignments. You'll need to complete the pre-lab questions. And I'll show you those in just a minute. There's seven of those. Uh, and by completing those and submitting those, you'll get 2.5 points. And then there's a table, experiment one, that I want you to complete and submit. And that'll be worth five points. And then the post-lab questions one through six, that'll be worth two and a half points. And so that should add up to your total 10 points for this portion of the lab. So let's take a look at lab nine, the endocrine system. And again, that should open up into a new, uh, 
a new window here. And again, you can uh, either click e you know, down the menu or you can hit the next button to kind of scroll through each of the items here. It's going to give you some background information. I would suggest kind of, you know, this is very short. I would suggest kind of reading over the background information to the lab to kind of see what we're going to be looking at. It's going to be looking at some, some of the main endocrine glands and tissues. It does give you a couple little, you know, checks along the way. Um, these are optional, but it doesn't take long to kind of read the question and see if you uh, know the answer there. Um, I'm going to skip down to the assignments procedure tab. And, um, and then I'm going to click on the Assignments and Procedures tab here, and that's going to show you the main lab procedures uh, that's part of their online uh, lab manual. And you see there's three experiments here, Experiment 1, Experiment 2, Stress Response, Experiment 3, Fetal Pig Dissection. This is where I said do not uh, worry about the fetal pig dissection now. We're going to do that as a separate lab uh, later in the semester. And so we'll kind of flip back to the screen. The um, directions here say to click on experiment one, microscopic anatomy of the endocrine system. And so that's what we're going to look at. And you will see here um, a kind of a materials list. Uh, and the materials is the endocrine system slide viewer. Now your, your um, kits will not come with a microscope, but it is important for us to look at some histology, some tissues of the various, uh, in this case, glands and, and organs of the endocrine system. And so instead of actually having microscope slides, you'll have a slide viewer. They're already prepared the slides for us and we can take a look at them. You can either click on the link here or down below under procedure, the slide viewer. And what that's going to do is it's going to allow you to navigate through and look at the endocrine tissues, um, five main endocrine tissues listed here, thyroid, parathyroid, pancreas, adrenal, and pituitary gland, and they're listed at different magnifications. Just like you would in a lab setting, you're going to see what they look like here. So you can look at thyroid gland under the microscope at 100 times magnification. Uh, and sometimes they label some of the things. So these would be the various thyroid gland follicles that are seen kind of like those little circles there. And you can increase magnification by clicking on the next one. This is what the follicle is going to look like at a thousand times magnification. You can see the follicular cells a little more outlined there. Over here on the outskirts would be parafollicular cells. The colloid uh, material is going to be on the inside of that follicle. All right, so you can kind of scroll through and, and and uh, look at and kind of study these slides. Now, the questions that you'll answer will be located in the lab workbook. And so notice this is a, uh, a Word document file. You're gonna click on this uh, tab and it will ask you, my computer's asking me if I wanna open this as a Word document. I can even, even save it as a, um, a Word document. So you may wanna save it somewhere. You're gonna need to save it so that you'll be able to edit it from your computer. So once you have the document open, again, you may want to save this uh, probably to your desktop or to a folder where you can uh, easily access it. Um, because what you can do now, you'll see the pre-lab questions, one through seven, that was part of the assignment. And you can type directly um, into this document um, your answers. And then you want to save that. Again, you want to save it somewhere where you can locate it. Uh, you can kind of scroll through and see, you know, here is the table two, experiment one, and you can type directly into the, uh, to the table boxes here. And then they also have, uh, you know, the post lab questions that I assigned. Um, you can type your responses to uh, each of those questions. So once you've completed this, now the other thing is it will show you the remaining part. So experiment two, uh, you don't have to submit this now because we're going to look at experiment two next week. And so uh, you can leave this as part of your document, leave it blank for now, and then open it back up and, um, and then continue with experiment two uh, will be our next lab that we look at. So once you have that uh, document completed, um, you'll go back to our uh, lab section, back to our lab folder here. And uh, when you're ready to submit your work, then the title of your lab also serves as your assignment submission link. So you can click on this link. It opens up a new page here. You'll see the directions again. You'll see the point value listed for this part of the lab is 10 points. If you kind of scroll on down, 
you'll see where you can uh, upload your assignment. And so uh, for this, you can just browse local files and uh, then it's gonna ask you to upload your Word document. Uh, and then just hit submit and then that will upload your document to Blackboard. Now, there may be some times when you will need to um, upload some pictures for a particular lab. Um, and so if that's the case, one option is to actually embed your pictures into your Word document here. Um, and so you can go to Word and you can insert, have it to insert a picture and that puts your picture directly inside the Word document, save it there. And then you've got your single document that you can upload to uh, Blackboard or you can upload uh, pictures individually here. Uh, if at all possible, have your pictures kind of smaller version so you know it's not taking up a lot of extra space. The easiest thing maybe just to upload it, you know, import those into your Word document, have everything put together. But either way, you can browse your files here, upload your uh, documents that you need to, and then submit. If for some reason something doesn't upload correctly, or if you um, can't get your, your pictures to upload here, send them to my email address and uh, that will work fine as well. I would prefer everything in here, but you know, if, if you're having problems uploading something, then please just send me an email about it. So that kind of gives you an overview of the lab and kind of how to navigate through some of the e-science documents. Again, one of the main things is make sure that you read uh, carefully the steps and the directions that I have posted because sometimes I don't assign every experiment that eScience has or I may even add um, some um, uh, an alternative type of assignment um, and so, so make sure that you read carefully the assignments that I have listed here for you to do. Thank you.